How are you guys holding up? Honest answer is terribly, but we're doing the best we can on a day-to-day basis. It's, it's uncertain. So you don't know how to plan for the next week or day or even just for the next couple hours because you just don't know how people are responding and, and you know what the right measures are to take and what the best thing is for safety for your staff. Um, so it really is a, a, an hour to hour kind of a concept right now. Do you get a certain sense of your customers' uh, patterns though? Are they continuing uh, to, to come in for food? Are they wanting more delivery done? From a business standpoint, yeah, a lot of our, our, our volume has dramatically decreased from the amount of people that are coming into the cafe, absolutely. The transactions are higher per person though because they're coming in less frequently, but they're stocking up more. So they're coming in for multiple meals versus one meal at a time. However, with what's going on also, it's disruptive in terms of their traditional routines. So they're not coming in on a regular basis for breakfast and lunch and dinners. So we don't see as many of our customers right now. Um, We just recently relaunched an online platform that allows anybody to virtually see what we have in our cafe and purchase anything that we're making. So not only our our entrees and our breakfasts, but now our customers can purchase things from a fresh loaf of bread to soups, to granolas, to baked goods and brownies, to just ordering biscottis and baked goods and bottled drinks that we make and have anything from here delivered. Um, So it's more so like a market or a grocery store. Uh, Have you changed what you're making at all? So, well, yes and no. We're still consistent with all of the the types of meals and entrees that we're making. But what we're also doing is almost like a clean house. Every day we reevaluate what is available to us and what we actually have to be able to make something new. Uh, Simply because... You know, some things that were so readily available are no longer available to us. You know, it's even difficult sometimes to buy organic oats. Um, Chicken has been a commodity. It's fortunate that all of the meats that we get are local from different farmers. So we're able to consistently get that. Uh, But then other things are more difficult because we do buy from vendors that, uh, you know, we have like our organic pineapples and bell peppers coming from other areas. But the vendor that we buy from is only now able to deliver twice a week versus every day. So it's been um, it's been frustrating. It's been difficult. Uh, do, you, do you get a stronger conviction uh, as we get through this crisis that um, uh, with help maybe from the government that you'll be able to continue operation? You know, we uh, we work every day with our fingers crossed, and we do the best we can and. Uh, Whatever the government is able to do to help uh, cover those loose ends is absolutely amazing. We've, on our ends, we've closed our St. Michael's location for the time being until future notice. Um, We've reduced all staff. You find myself and my wife in the kitchen nonstop all day, seven days a week. Um, We've, you know, reduced any and all expenses and we are being extremely frugal with anything that we're doing. Um, just to kind of hang in there and kind of tread water to keep uh, keep something alive until things start to clear up. All right, Ryan. Thank you so much. We'll do like an air high five. Yeah.